Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest GFS, GM, Eastern WF, GFS Ensembles and then we'll have a look at the live radar as we do have some rain clearing from the east um, this evening. Do remember if you enjoyed my videos make sure you like and subscribe, do remember to follow me on Twitter as well, link is in the description. So currently we do have that small air of rain leaving East Anglia as, as we speak. But largely, um, for most other areas in the west, it's been fairly pleasant today. Again, temperatures reaching around 20 degrees or so. But a bit more cloud and around today, but still generally feeling quite warm and humid. For the northern west, though, there is going to be increased cloud activity and potentially for a few showers. As you see, that low pressure near Iceland is starting to get close, but it's not really going to break through. And over the weekend, we're going to build high pressure over the top of the UK. Um... Ice bars really aren't uh, aren't particularly tight together, so uh, winds are going to fall light and it's going to feel fairly pleasant. But as uh, as ever in the west and northwest, we've still got westerly winds, the potential for a few showers as we're closer to that low pressure. There will be the chance of a few showers, of course, over the course of this weekend. Um, as you can see, we're not under the centre of the high, but we're generally over high pressure. And I'll probably have a look at that risk um, of, sort of Sunday and Monday of showers um, in tomorrow's video. Beyond that, high pressure continues over the top of the UK. But again, that low getting very close to northwestern areas and potentially bringing some rain in there. Um, as we hit the end of next week, that low starts to move across the country. Further south, still high pressure in control, um, but further north... If we have a look at the air mass, you can see starting to introduce some cooler air. And actually, as we head towards day 10, that low pressure sweep through, bringing in cooler air. Um, quite a lot of heavy rain, probably, with that. Uh, and then um, uh, sweeping away all that uh, warm air as well, bringing more cloud, rain, and wind in. As we head right towards the end of the run, you can see high pressure builds over Europe. Low pressure out in the Atlantic, and it does bring up a southerly wind temporarily. And it does start to bring in some warm air before low pressure does sweep through again. I do suspect the GFS is on the cooler end of the ensemble members, um, as most are continually building in more high pressure. There is a signal toward the middle of June that we could see low pressure sweep through um, briefly, especially further northwards. But again, a complete breakdown like we're seeing in this GFS I think is unlikely at this stage. If we have a look at the GM, see how that compares. Over the next few days, again, very similar. Uh, to the GFS and that low trying to get into northwestern areas tries to break through uh, but high pressure continually builds in and as we head towards day 10 again you can see that low trying to plunge down from the northwest starting to bring some cooler air especially to northern Scotland but further south towards the centre of the high still feeling quite warm and again you can see by this that low isn't plunging all the way southwards bringing cooler air with it at this stage really only affecting parts of northern Scotland and northern England as well. Many central areas, Midlands, Wales, parts of Ireland, southwestern areas, all still feeling fairly pleasant and warm. And if we have a look at the temperature deviation, you can see very warm in the south, but cool, um, cooler than average in the north. So on the GM, it definitely is showing that low pressure trying to push, push through, but it's definitely holding on to high pressure in the south. So it could be some showers around, could be increased cloud, but a deluge like we're seeing on the GFS run, not showing up on this GM run. Now, if we have a look at the ECM WF, see how that compares. Again, you can see high pressure starting to build in off Europe, and then that low trying to sweep through, but again, not making too much inroads in the country. And as we get towards day 10, high pressure centred over Ireland with quite a warm air mass, feeling very warm indeed, probably mid 20s with that. Quite widely, really, under that centre of that low. Light winds, is unlikely to be too much of a, a, a breeze coming off the North Sea. Uh, feeling very warm indeed and if we have a look at temperature deviation you can see around two to four degrees above average um maybe five degrees above average so it's not really warm or a heat wave sort of uh conditions but still feeling very pleasant and would be nice to go outside um, would be t-shirts and shorts weather if we have a look at the gfs ensembles you can see temperatures in London over the next few days are going to be around average to maybe just above average around five six seven degrees 850 hpa Still going to allow temperatures to get up to around 20, 21, 22 degrees or so, depending on cloud amounts really. It really does depend on cloud amounts and condition, uh, conditions like this because the air mass is not very warm, but it's warm enough to give um, warm surface temperatures and it really does depend on how much sun we see in the day. 
as we're towards the sort of the 10th or 12th of June, see temperatures do start to get around to 10, uh, 10 degrees at 850 HPA, which would be able to give mid-20s possibly. And then you do see a split in the ensemble members. You see some cooler ensemble members, including that GFS operational, going below average, um, bringing in cooler conditions and some precipitation. Others remaining above average, being fairly dry and very warm indeed. And I do suspect at this stage, looking at these ensembles, it's likely that those warmer and drier ensemble members are in the majority at this stage. Again, again it can flip, but at this stage, it does look like generally most are above average. There's maybe five, six, seven going below average. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. If I look at the two meter temperatures, you can see in London generally over the next sort of week or so, averages are going to be around mid to low 20s, maybe 22, 23 degrees again. And then as we head towards the middle of June, sort of 10 to 12, you can see potentially getting up to 25, maybe even 30 degrees on some ensemble members. But again, that's getting outweighed by some cooler ensemble members, bringing those averages down um, towards the end of this model run um, or this ensemble run. Uh, showing temperatures averaging around 20 degrees, but again, that's got a big, big spread, some going 26, 27 degrees, others going down to maybe only 15 degrees or so, with more rain um, coming in. So it does look like over the next sort of few weeks, it's going to be uh, uh, mostly pleasant. There are hints there could be something cooler and wetter coming in for the middle of the month, especially further northwards. But again, it's in the minority at this stage, but it definitely does look like there's the potential of it, and you're just going to have to see how long um, that high pressure can hang on for. So finally, if we have a look at the live radar, you can see this rain exiting East Anglia and North East England at the moment. It was quite heavy earlier, and if we do run it back, you can see it was quite heavy across um, many eastern areas. Some areas seen 10 to 15 millimetres of rain where we've, where we've seen rain all day. Areas further west um, of that, and areas further east of that sort of heavier band of range in the middle of this weather front, only saw maybe five millimetres or so, but still quite a lot of rain, and there has been a few uh, reports of some surface water, but nothing too significant, I don't think. It's all fueling off this low-pressure system that's over towards um, France and Germany, and it's got a weather front heading northwards, and you can see some thunderstorms associated with that, but we're just getting the weather front um, as we're on the cooler side of the low. So if we run for it to currently, you can see there is still some lingering showers and light rain in East Anglia, and the southeast, but again, it should clear over the next few hours out into the North Sea, and generally, areas should be quite dry. As I said, towards the beginning of the video, those low pressure systems are trying to push into the west, so it's always going to give the chance of some showers in Northern Ireland, uh, western parts of Ireland, and western uh, and northern Scotland as well. So, there's always going to be the chance of showers there, even though generally things are mostly dry and fine. So, we'll just have to keep an eye on that over the next few days. But tomorrow is looking fairly pleasant, Sunday is looking pleasant as well. Potential for some thunderstorms and showers in the evening and into Monday. And I'll have a look at that in my video tomorrow. Um, so just keep up to date for that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.